North Sea. 290,000 square miles of some of the most inhospitable water on the planet. Winter storms can generate winds over 160 miles per hour and waves over 85 feet high. In the 1960s, the oil and gas industry had never encountered an environment with such severe weather conditions. But the prize offered real potential for the energy security of the UK and Norway. This new frontier would require great ingenuity and courage, technology and engineering that the industry had never seen before. BP was awarded its first offshore licenses in 1964, and exploration began immediately. In 1965, BP was the first to strike gas at West Seoul in the Southern North Sea. Within two years, the North Sea's first offshore gas production began, sparking a revolution that would change the energy landscape of Northern Europe. In 1970, BP discovered the giant Forties field, 110 miles east of Aberdeen. Its 2.5 billion barrels of recoverable oil reserves made it the largest field in the UK sector of the North Sea. Everything about 40s was on a giant scale. This meant developing totally new technologies and designing from first principles. When production began in 1975, the 40s pipeline was the first to bring oil to the UK mainland. It broke all industry records. The next 15 years was a time of excitement and great opportunities. BP, or one of its heritage companies, started up more than 15 fields during this period, and by the end of the 80s was producing more than a quarter of all oil produced from the North Sea. Platform design became more sophisticated in the 1980s and 90s, and investment in bold and groundbreaking technology spearheaded several world firsts. BP was pushing the frontiers of energy innovation with giant discoveries west of Shetland, such as Shehalyan and Foynhaven, each reliant on breakthrough subsea technologies to develop its resources so far from shore. This was the industry's first deepwater province. The 90s were characterized by a sustained period of relatively low oil price, which encouraged commercial cooperation amongst operators. Despite a tough investment climate at the beginning of the millennium, we broke new ground with technologies to maximize recovery from giant and increasingly complex fields, as well as bringing on stream previously undeveloped discoveries. Today, much of the more easily accessed oil has been produced, and yet a huge prize still remains. Maybe not by discovering new giant fields as in the past, but by developing smaller, deeper reservoirs with higher temperatures and higher pressures, and perhaps more importantly, by recovering more from existing fields. A new wave of technology is needed to unlock this prize. Our global deep water experience means we know what it takes to deliver technologies that can deal with high temperatures and pressures. BP's Field of the Future Technologies harness the power of real-time data to optimize production from new and existing infrastructure. Our designer water and designer gas technologies are creating step changes in enhanced oil recovery. BP's world-leading 4D seismic imaging means we can see the changes within a reservoir over time to maximize recovery of oil and gas. And we are funding cutting-edge research into the advanced materials and coatings that will be vital in finding, producing and processing energy in the years ahead. But technology on its own is not enough. It takes a company with the expertise and scale to deploy it and the commitment to see it through. Since the 1960s, BP has been the leading operator in the North Sea and we continue to be one of the largest UK producers and investors. It's this kind of long-term commitment to deliver advances in new technology that will ensure the North Sea continues to have a bright future and help provide the energy needed for many years to come. <laughs>